Hi, this is Michael from 3D Scan Everything. I'm going to show you the Calibri scanner from Thor 3D. We're one of the very few distributors here in the U.S. of this scanner. But uh, we're going to scan a 2020 Super taillight. So we've been commissioned to turn this taillight into an infinity light housing. So this is going to be really neat. But I want to show you the process of 3D scanning and how quickly this guy can uh, get this job done. So, Let's check out the screen here. The nice thing with this Calibri scanner is it has a really nice display screen here. So everything is done through this screen. I mean, start to see the, the part show up right there. So we've got a couple different selections here. We can choose marker tracking, texture tracking, or geometry. So when we're just needing 3D models, we don't need color and we're not doing anything super big like a car, we're going to do geometry. And we have a button for Live 3D. What the Live 3D, 3D will do as soon as we hit go, it'll actually keep what we've scanned in the model so that you can see the full model and catch any parts that you've missed. So, <clears throat> to start off here, uh, yeah, I'll start, I'm going to start from this angle here. I'm just going to hit go, and on the screen, you can see, I'm trying to follow that screen there. You just want to keep you want to keep it in the green area, so we can see this scanning that light. Now, if you're wondering too, the light, the lens has been sprayed with a matte powder. That powder is actually I don't know, yeah, kind of lost track in there for a second. It, that matte powder is a, a foot powder, so you just use the Gold Bonds foot cream and you're able to put a mat over all the shiny up, the shiny spaces and you get a really nice surface to 3D scan. So we're done there. That's actually good enough for that scan. So what I'm going to do is flip this over now. We've got a nice stand. Now trial run scan this once. So I actually scan this side first. What I'm going to do here is we take this, this foot powder here, real cheap, easy to wash off, and you just try to get those areas so that it'll pick it up real nice. And then we'll start that again. So we'll come back here to the interface, start to scan, live 3D and then watch this, just boom. You can just easily walk around this. And bam, that 3D model is scanned. So that looks real clean, real nice. We'll end it. Okay, so we'll take our scanner now. We'll put it on its little display. And let's move to the computer. So, got my model over working on some stuff in the background here. I'm gonna bring up Calibri. And the cool thing is, is the Calibri has the little display port here. So on the computer, if someone wants to watch what the screen is seeing, you can see that. Let's bring up that last full. That last file we scanned. So we'll open it up there. You can see, so this is the raw, the raw data here. Now what we'll do with this, there's, there's a couple things we can do here. So if I click on frames, we can highlight all these frames and I can actually start right here, deleting out some of the unneeded info before we process it. So this will allow processing to go a little bit faster since we won't be processing stuff that's not needed. We'll get some of that noise up there. So we'll just clip that out. Now I've got that. So here, we'll clip out a little bit more. Get all that noise there. A little bit of that table. That's probably close enough because we can clean it up afterwards. But look at that. So there's that profile, real nice. Let's go ahead and actually I'm going to clean up just a tiny bit more. Yeah. 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 
All oh, right. So now that's right in there. Perfect. Okay, that's looking really good. So now in this, we have settings here. So Calibri Industry, Calibri Human. The human would be if we're doing something a little bit bigger. So the industrial will be for smaller objects. And this is the resolution, hole fill. So, so this will actually fill, auto fill some of the holes. I'm going to go ahead and let it do that. We'll just keep it with the standard parts. This is actually a brand new update. Since I've had this scanner, only about, I think, three or four weeks now, they've come up with uh, three different updates to the software. And some of the UI has already changed and been updated. So I am really impressed with the speed and um, you know amount of updates that they're pushing out there. Seems to be processing pretty quickly too. So this is a two-stage processing effort too. Um, when you click on this and hold it down, it'll show you a um, the two different processes that it is. Um, but if you just click on it real quick, it'll go ahead and do both. So wow, look at that. Completed in 31 seconds. So there is a really nice profile of the outside of that that deal there. And some of this will be from that hole fill. So if I go back, and the neat thing is, is, is see this generated this render here. So if I, I can actually click back on all the frames. Say little King Jalopy. And I can, uh, yeah, that's it. It'll also <coughs> come up with names. Little Kim Jelly Bean. <laughs> that's a pretty funny name to, to have it auto generate. All right, so let's, let's open up the other one here. So I'm actually going to open up this one because I think this one's scanned better. Let's see. All right, that's the other top. There's the back side of it. Is that it right there? Yep. Okay, and. Or is that. Oh, that's probably the. That little one in it. Yeah. I think it's this one. Awesome. Right there. So, if you see here, so I, I hold this down, we can do a registration and finalization. But we're just going to click it, which will do both. So it's going to process that now. Oh, now see, here I didn't cut out the extra parts. So we'll see how much longer the processing takes without chopping the parts out in the beginning. Because we can chop out those parts now or after it's, uh, it's processed the information. There. But yeah, this is made 3D modeling for or 3D printing a lot easier. I, I get a lot of people that come in here and need something recreated like the, uh, like the, the lens here. And, you know, trying to measure this or do photogrammetry with this, it's, it's just really hard to get those perfect profiles. So this scanner is really showing to be a good money maker just in using it as a service. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in possibly buying one, definitely let us know. Um, otherwise, using it as a service, um, let us know if you need anything scanned. Because if you're local, we can definitely get you, get you fixed up here. But Where's is local? Local to DFW. DFW anywhere, um, you know, in the surrounding states. I actually get calls from from uh, many many from Oklahoma and Louisiana and stuff like that. So because there's not too many different uh, 3D print shops and scan shops out there. But we're about 60% done on the processing. So this thing processes really quick. I've used some of the other scanning softwares and it takes quite a while to process some things at times. But uh, this is looking like it's doing really good. Give it just a little bit more time. We'll also try scanning this uh, tire here, this rim and tire. This goes to a Jaguar. That should be a really good scan for it. And um, I've got a seat over here that we're going to scan as well. And then possibly that rim in the background. So if you want to check those out and see how those come out in a scan, definitely stay tuned to some of our next videos we'll come out with. Okay, looks like we're about finished. 94, 95, 96. <clears throat> Boom, so there it is. All right, so there is our back side of the, of the scan there. I think I got a little, got a little hair there, but that's, that's still really good. So you can come in here and there's different, there's more tools to remove information. Oh, we went a little far there. 
Uh, just go back to the frames. So yeah, come back, come back. And cut all that. So yeah, there's our inside profile. That's pretty much all we need because we can take this and then trace it. And then if we go into here, uh, where is it? The first one, right? We can actually open both of these in the same space. Is that? Do I need to control it? There it is. That's how we do it. I'm still learning, but there is a way that we can we can bring both these in here and line them up. So let's see, where is that curve section? Smooth. We've got smoothing, simplifying. The, the scans come in at the right size as well. So I've been really impressed with, yeah, here's our the magic wand. No, so that's going to delete all that. Okay, shift is all over. There it is, see, align by points. So we can come in here, so if you're doing big scans, like you wanted to do a fender or part of a car, you can come in here and we can align. Let's, let's try this. Like this point. Oh, I think we do it in here. Okay, we double click there. <laughs> so, let's try this again. And that is... Like that. Turn to the Okay, there we go. So we got them facing the same way. One, I'll try two. Oh, there. And maybe. Yeah, see, so it's got it kind of close there. I could have got a little bit better on that scan. Doing, watching, uh, let's see what happens if we do that. I'm kind of curious. Uh, when you're watching the phone and doing the scanner, it can get a little shaky there. But um, yeah, that's how you can end up combining the two. Let's see, it's scanning pretty quick. So I'm kind of curious how this will come out. This may or may not look great. <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's processing real fast. Forty, forty-five. <laughs> so if you've used uh, any 3D scanners before, um, I'd love to hear your comments. Um, let me know your opinions on this and what you've seen so far and how quickly, um, you know, this is scanned. And, uh, you know, if you'd be interested in using something like this or, or what you think. I've used some of the Ein scans before. I've used this Capture Sense. And I've tried different phones. Um, pretty much anything under five thousand dollars was was just not accurate enough for me to pull out a good 3D model. Um, and, and a lot of the issues was, you know, even if it was accurate enough, huh? Phone's getting Okay. Uh, we'll we'll have to end this video here shortly. Um, but even if the uh, scanner was almost close enough, having to look at the scanner and look at the computer to make sure that you're at the right distance was really, really difficult for me. Because when you're when your back's to the computer and you're trying to keep distance and you're trying to look at a computer, the hand-eye coordination gets really messed up with me and I, I 
I think that's with a lot of people is you have a lot of a lot of trouble keeping that perfect distance. But with this scanner, with that screen on there, the workflow is phenomenal. So I'll try to do some other videos where we rapid scan multiple things and then we'll go through and process the information. But let's check out this real quick. So look at that, that actually put Oh that just that that just processed that one. So it didn't combine it. But but we'll play with that combining feature and we'll see if we can't possibly get a good model out of this. But um, I'm going to send this information over to my modeler. He'll make that lens, and uh, we're going to actually make some changes and add some stuff to it. Um, so it's not just a direct recreation of this lens here. But uh, thanks, guys, for checking it out. If you're interested, give us a holler. Otherwise, uh, thank <laughs> keep on printing. <laughs>